um, uh, I hope they're watching and I hope they know uh, that, that we're coming after them uh, because that, that is a fact and that's, that's something that is going to happen. We now have new details on an armed robbery resulting in the death of a young man in Fresno. Good evening, I'm Monty Torres. Liz Gonzalez has the evening off. Thank you for joining us tonight. Fresno police are now asking for your help to bring justice to one Fresno family whose loved one was shot and killed defending himself and his wife. It happened last Sunday in southwest Fresno. Fox 26 News reporter Myra Franco was at today's press conference and is here to fill us in. Myra. Monty, Chief Paco Bautarama promised the family justice at today's news conference. The department says it's now offering a $5,000 reward for information leading to the arrest of those responsible for the murder of 25-year-old Simon Martinez. This is uh, a particularly sad case because this is two victims who had nothing to do with any criminal activity. They were simply walking home from a local gathering when uh, somebody took it upon themselves to try to rob them. And um, clearly, uh, Simon was a, a, a brave person who was uh, not going to allow anyone to hurt his, his, his wife and decided to fight back. Police say 25-year-old Simon Martinez was shot and killed last Sunday around midnight after he and his wife, Leticia, were approached by a man with a gun who demanded their money near Thorn Avenue in Gary Street. Chief Paco Baderama says during the armed robbery, Simon took down the white male suspect and disarmed him. Right away, Leticia called 911. That's when officials say a white compact car pulled up next to them and a Hispanic man came out of the passenger seat firing his gun at the couple. The suspects got in the car and took off. Leticia was also shot but survived her injuries after medical treatment. This is very hard for me. My husband meant everything to me. The only mistake we made that night was walk home because it was close home. All I ask for is public help. We want justice. We, we do have a couple leads and you know, every crime scene has evidence and that evidence is being processed. Um, you know, a lot of times we can't we can't come out and tell the media exactly what we have, uh, but there are still a few uh, pieces to the puzzle that uh, that we need in, or in order to solve this one. Both Leticia and Fresno police are now asking for the public's help and for justice. So here with my mother-in-law and sister-in-law, I do ask people come out, help us. It, it can't stay like this. Families can't be going through what we're going through. I make a, um, a promise to our community to Leticia and the rest of her family, we will solve this homicide, I promise you. Chief Guadarrama says if anyone has any information, no matter how small to come forward, even those involved, he says he hopes they feel as strongly as he does so the answers come to light. Monty. Let's hope they do, Myra, thank you. Anyone with information regarding this case is asked to please call Fresno Police or you can also remain anonymous by contacting Crime Stoppers at 559-498-STOP. Valderrama says this marks the 19th homicide of the year. Want to see more stories like this? Watch Great Day weekday mornings from 5 to 10 and Fox 26 News at 10.